Well howdy, the water in this dishwasher no longer drains, so I'm going to try to fix it. I want to get this fixed before our dishes get too backed up, but I don't know what's causing the water to not drain, so I'm going to have to figure that out. When a dishwasher gets backed up, there's three places that you're going to want to check for problems. The first place I'm going to look is the filter system, which is usually underneath the washer blade. To get to the filters, I'm going to drain the water with a cup and bowl, and as I was doing this, I thought there was a beetle swimming around in the water, but it was actually a melted Lego cap from one of my kids' Lego toys. It probably got melted on the heating ring that surrounds the washing blade, or we just killed Emmett from the Lego movie. It turns out that not everything is awesome, especially getting melted in a dishwasher. Because we found that toy hat, I'm going to assume that there's some other toys blocking the filter, and that's probably why it's not draining. Once I got the water cleared, I took some time to wipe everything down and make sure I wasn't missing anything. As I clean it, I'm looking for anything that might block the filter or get in the drain. I didn't find any problem, so I'm going to untwist the filter and make sure that it's all clean, and surprisingly, it was. I'm going to reach inside the filter cavity and check for any objects, but there was nothing there, so now I'm going to further drain the water so I can get a better look. I couldn't see anything, so I'm going to remove the blade so I can dig down deeper. I'm going to remove the larger filter, and it's really gross, but there's really nothing out of the ordinary. However, I did find three of the shells from those pods that you use to wash your dishes. The shells from the wash pods can build up and plug up your drains, so I'm going to also check for those. As I drained all the water, I didn't see anything in the filter cavity, so now I need to remove this wash blade extension so I can look inside the pump. To take off the top wash blades, I need to remove the rack by undoing these clips, and then it can pull forward on the wheels. To get to the pump underneath, I have to take this top blade off, and in most cases this top wash blade is held down by these clips. I'm just going to gently bend them and they'll come right out. There's also probably going to be these support clips in the back that you'll have to remove. Once that's taken off, I can unhook it and look inside the drain that goes out to the pump. However, when I opened it up, there was nothing I could see that was blocking the pump drain. I reached inside the drain and couldn't feel anything, so I wiped everything down a final time before I put it all back together, hoping a good cleaning was all that was needed to get this dishwasher draining again. If your dishwasher is not draining, usually all you have to do is clean the filters and remove anything that's blocking the drain. I got it put back together, so I'm going to run a load using this dishwasher cleaner to see if that solved the problem. You can also use cleaning tabs or vinegar and baking soda. So for the first step, you want to clean all the filters and check all the drains, then run a high temperature wash using cleaner to see if that solved the problem. And unfortunately, that didn't work. The water's cleaner and it smells good, but it's still not draining. So now I'm going to go to step two, which is to clean out the garbage disposal and drainage hose. The way most dishwashers work is clean water goes through this bottom hose, it then cycles through the dishwasher, and the dirty water is flushed out this drainage hose into the garbage disposal. It will then go through the garbage disposal out to the main drain. So for this next step, I'm going to be looking for any obstruction in the drainage hose, and it looks like there's some debris where the hose might be connected to the disposal. To get that out, I'm going to run a load on the dishwasher and turn on the disposal. After 30 seconds, nothing drained, so I need to take it apart and make sure nothing's blocking it. There's a lot of debris in the connection to the disposal, so I'm also going to check the drain pipe to the main water line. There was nothing in the main drain, so now I'm going to check inside the disposal and clean out the drainage hose. When I cleaned out the hose, there was a lot of junk, there was nothing solid in there that would have prevented the hose from flushing out. So the next step is to check inside the disposal, but first I'm going to unplug it, because it'd be a pretty bad day if someone accidentally turned it on. When I looked inside the disposal, the drainage line was definitely plugged up, so I'm going to push through a paper towel to clean it out. As I grabbed a bowl and unplugged the drain, I decided this is kind of gross, and I gained a newfound respect for GI doctors. I was also worried because I was able to clean this out pretty easily, and there was nothing solid in there like glass or metal that would have prevented the drain from flushing out all that garbage. So at this point I was getting worried that step 1 which is cleaning the filters and step 2 which is cleaning the drain didn't work, and I was going to have to go to step 3 which is cleaning the pump. But before I go to step 3 I'm going to put it all back together and run a quick cycle on the dishwasher just in case cleaning it will solve the problem. I have it all put back together, and I'm going to run a quick load, and just like my son, 
I'm also sad that step two didn't work. The water didn't drain, but I know the filter and hose are clean, so I can deduce that there's probably something wrong with the pump. So now I'm going to step three, and I'm gonna first drain all the water, then I'll turn off the water line, and then I'll flip the breaker to kill any power going to the dishwasher. I'm gonna test the washer to make sure there's no power, then I'll need to remove the two bracket screws that are holding the dishwasher in place. These screws are usually located on the edge of the dishwasher and you can get access to them by opening the door, then unscrewing these metal tabs that are holding them in place. We turned off the water line and killed the power and undid these two brackets so that we can gain access underneath the dishwasher. So I'm gonna lay on the floor and undo the two bolts or tabs that are holding the dishwasher cover in place. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to untwist the bolts and the cover will come right off. I'm now carefully gonna pull the dishwasher forward until I feel tension. Then there's three things that I'll need to disconnect to remove the dishwasher. The first is this water intake line. The second is the drainage hose, but you'll need to have a towel ready because a lot of water is gonna come out. And the third thing I need to disconnect is the power, which is found in this junction box. Remove the screws holding the junction box. Then I'll be able to open it up and disconnect the wires. So to recap, I just disconnected the power, the drainage hose, and the water line, so now I'm ready to pull out the dishwasher. As you pull it out, try to lift up on the front end or use a piece of cardboard so you don't scratch your floor. The electric box is just hanging there, so I'm going to reconnect it so it doesn't get damaged. Now I can get a better view of how this works. The clean water comes through here and is flushed out this drain through this drain pump. This gray thing is the tiny motor that pumps the water out through the drain. I'm guessing this drain is going to be plugged up, but as I looked into it, it was totally clean, and I'm starting to run out of options. With no other choice, I'm going to look inside the pump, and my friends, I'm happy to tell you that we found the root cause of all of our problems. It looks like a piece of a plastic fork broke off, or it's a vampire tooth. This probably broke off during a wash cycle, which prevented these pump blades from spinning and flushing out the drain hose to the garbage disposal, which then would have caused the dishwasher not to drain or a vampire has been chewing on my motor again. Both are equally valid explanations and we'll probably never know. With that piece of a plastic fork out of there, it should drain without any problems. So now I'm gonna put it back together and run another wash cycle. As you put it back, make sure this insulation is tucked in and covers the dishwasher as it helps it run more quietly. Also take a minute to clean the floor and space around the washer as it can get really dirty. The last two tips are to make sure the hoses aren't kinked or smashed, and also make sure that the dishwasher is as level as possible. It's also critical that the drain hose is on securely, otherwise water will spill everywhere. It's all put back together, so I'm gonna turn on the water line and the power. Then I'm gonna run a clean cycle on my dishwasher to make sure the problem is solved. When the cycle is finished, I opened it up and everything had drained correctly. This is great because not only did we save about $400 from having a repairman come fix this, but we also now have the skills to go out and help someone else. This is also a good reminder that we clean our appliances so they last longer and we can avoid so much fear and doubt over so small a thing like a plastic fork. I'll share links to all the tools and supplies I used in this video. Now go out and help someone else and have a great day.